is a, a tragic day for the Texas Department of Public Safety. The, um, I have with me right now our regional director, A. Gerald ba Brown. Uh, he is going to come up and then offer a few remarks, um, and then we'll give more details about what happened. Uh, so I'm going to turn it over to regional director, Gerald Brown. Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here today. Um, this is such a tragic event. Sometime this morning around 11 or 10 30 time frame, we had an 18 wheel that ran through our driver's license slash highway patrol office, which is directly across the street from here. Yes, ma'am. So we had a we had an 18 wheel that ran into our through our driver's license office that's directly across the street from here. What we know is that we had several people injured as a result of this accident, as a result of this incident. Um, the driver was, was being followed. He had stolen an 18-wheeler earlier. Justin's going to get into all that, so I won't get into those details. He was being, being chased by a, a deputy, and he ran into our building. We have several people that were injured, and, and one is deceased at this time. Again, Justin will get into all those. This is a tragic day for us. Tragic day. My heart and, and goes out. My heart and prayers goes out to the family members of those that are injured, as well as those that are injured. We have multiple agencies that are here that are assisting, to include Washington County, Brenham PD, the FBI, and as well as all the resources that we have with the Texas DPS. So we have the Texas Rangers, the Texas Highway Patrol, and the Criminal Investigation Division. So I'll step back. And let, I'll step back and let Justin, uh, Sergeant Ruiz, come up and give you guys the details. Thank you all for being here. Really, really, really appreciate y'all. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is a sad day for DPS and for all the people that were involved, uh, all the customers that we had in our building today uh, for today's incident. Uh, a Washington County Sheriff's deputy and other law enforcement were behind this 18-wheeler. Uh, it was reported stolen. Uh, when they saw the vehicle, it was on State Highway 36 over here on this side of 290 by the McDonald's. The driver fled from law enforcement and came here on, on 290 going westbound took the, uh, the feeder loop under 290, the main highway, uh, and went east back on 290 feeder. Uh, the stolen 18-wheeler took a hard right turn and went into the DPS Brenham office. The suspect is Clintard Parker, who is 42, from Chapel Hill. Parker was taken into custody and take it to the Washington County Sheriff's Department. Parker was taken, or Parker did come to the DPS uh, Burnham office yesterday at approximately 3 or 4 p.m. where he was denied his commercial driver license. He then, uh, while he was there, the driver's license staff advised Parker that he was not eligible to uh, renew his commercial driver's license. Two people were flown to CHI St. Joseph's and Bryan. One person was flown to Memorial Hermann Hospital in Houston. Three were transported to Scott and White here in Brenham and have been released. And eight were treated and released on the scene of the incident. Unfortunately, one person has to come to their injuries and died at the hospital. Criminal, this is a criminal investigation that is being led by the Texas Rangers. Parker is facing multiple felony offenses and victim support services for DPS is on the scene at the family reunification, which is at the Brenham Police Department. Any questions? That's all under investigation. His name is going to be Clintard Parker. C L E N A R D Parker. That's under investigation. Can you talk to us about the deceased person? Which hospital did he or she die at? We're, we're not going to release that information right now because it's still uh, very fresh. And so family notification still has to be made. Was that partially the state employee? That's, we're, that's under investigation. How many people total were state employees and how many were? So we, all we have right now is 14 total individuals. Uh, that's all under investigation. Still very active. Can you repeat your question? No. There was no resist. Would you describe how he was arrested? Would you describe how he was arrested? He was taken out of the 18-wheeler and taken into custody by several officers.
that's still under investigation. It, we're, we're pulling all the information that we can. So I'm assuming that there's a video that will change the law. Yes. Uh, that's all going to be released through a public information request. Why would you deny this? That's all under investigation. You don't know why you asked about rights? No, we're still trying to get all that information. It's very fresh, so we're still trying to get as much information as we can. Do you Would know you? approximately how many people were actually inside the building where the people were That was going to be the 14 people. Just the, so all 14 people who were injured, 13 injured of what the seats were, the totality of people inside? Yes, all the people inside. Were there people in there who were uh, not injured, who were present? So the, the, the eight that I said that got checked on scene, uh, that was everybody that was still there that didn't want to go to the hospital. So that's gonna include all all the people that were there. What's that? We're, we're, we're still trying to figure that out. And the agents in there for a second went into the building, did he drive out and drive right back in or why is the agents going Yeah, he, he went into the vehicle or went into the building and did come back out. Would you describe the building? We can see the entrance. What what is what was the truck hitting? What is in there? That is the front door where the driver's license office is at. And how far back did it go? I'm not I'm un unsure right now. We're still trying to figure all that out. So that's that's a waiting area where people who you know waiting for the driver's Correct. license and that kind of thing. Correct, yeah, that's what the, the waiting area and where the driver's license uh desks are at. Gotcha. So were any were any officers just trying to get an idea of exactly how far into the building Correct. did the truck make it inside? Did it make it past the lobby into the office or anything? Like that's all still under investigation. There are there are several offices behind uh, that driver's license waiting area. So we're still trying to figure all that out. Did so the suspect suffer any injuries in the process? The suspect did not suffer any injuries. So there were 14 people. Everybody went to hospitals, yes. Okay. And then of the 14, how many were civilians and how many were We're still trying to figure all that out. What's that? Washington County Sheriff's Department. He's in jail over there. That's something we're... Two more questions. That's us. Two more questions. We're still trying to figure all that out. Let's go get the other one. Sergeant, could this be considered an act of domestic terrorism? We have all our all assets on scene and trying to figure all that out together. Uh, like, I said, like I said, this is it's still very active and ongoing, so I can't release that information right now. Can you give us a sense of the threat level is already at a heightened level just in recent time because of the, the climate, if you will. Uh, can you give us a sense of, of where that will be moving forward in terms of the other government officers? And other well, what I can say today is that this area is safe. Uh, we've got the, the suspect in custody, and we're all out here trying to get the, the scene uh, all fixed up and, and taken care of. Well, time yeah, to have the the yeah. 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 Yeah.
you don't think it's going to happen. That office right there uh, is something known to the mayor and I and everyone in Brenham. We've taken our children to get their driver's license there. Uh, I've gotten my driver's license there. It's a place of public service. And so uh, what we've seen today was an act of violence. And I want to first thank all the first responders, the deputy sheriff that uh, realized that was a stolen truck, uh, those that got on the scene quickly to keep uh, more damage from being done, as I understand. I want to thank DPS and all of our servants. Today we are reminded that those that serve us in public, it's a dangerous job. Someone that goes to work today to issue driver's license can literally trigger someone to create an act of violence like the one that we see across the street. And so I want to thank all of our first responders that were on the scene today helping those victims. I want to thank uh, all of the law enforcement for their quick reaction. And again, pray uh, for those victims that have been hurt in ways we're blessed that more weren't injured in this act of violence. And then finally, I want to say that we will prosecute this person to the full extent of the law because this will not be tolerated, not in my hometown and not in our home state. So uh, again, thank you to all those that responded. Join us in prayers for the victims and we will be tough on this crime. Thank you. I'd like to bring up the mayor for the city of Brenham for some remarks. Thank you. Well, I'm not going to repeat everything that's... I'm sorry. Mayor Adwood Conjure, um, mayor for the city of Brenham here. It's unfortunate that we are here gathered for a uh, really senseless tragedy and um, we just found out or I just found out the same time you did about the deceased and uh, that's not the kind of news we wanted to hear today. Our prayers are with those who are still in critical care. I want to say thanks to our first responders. Uh, had it not been for their quick action, uh, as you can see across the street, the uh, suspect was backing the vehicle up and with the intent of going into it again our fire chief mentioned that if he had veered a little bit to the left the second time there would have been a collapse of that building which would have resulted in a lot more injuries and possible death so again thanks to our first responders i can't say enough for them they put their life on the line and again keep your prayers for those who are in the critical care now Thank you very much. We will continue to keep everyone updated on our social media channels, on our Twitter and Facebook channels. Um, the investigators continue to work tirelessly behind us, and that will be going on for several hours. Uh, that's all we have for right now. Thank you.